Today, I want to go over all the games that I'm currently playing. There's a lot of different blockchain games, and I just want to give you an idea of everything I'm playing that I play daily and how it goes. I'm always looking for the next one as well, so I'm always going through and trying some out. Some work and some don't, and if they don't, I kind of end up just you know getting out of them and try to at least break even, if not make a little bit of a profit. And yeah, these are the games that I'm playing right now, and I will probably continue to play for a while because all of these games are very solid and I like their ideas. I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about each one and give you some more feedback on it. First one, most of you may even know, and this is Krypton. Krypton is a great game where you have robots and there's three factions and they're all doing different things on different missions. We're on mission one, so we go after all the aliens and we're fighting these aliens and whichever team wins, wins 100 land for their team. Each team has different ideas of how that land is divided and they all have different benefits. I'm on the blue team and we're trying to catch number two. We are getting there, so I think we will overtake them maybe another week or so. Yeah, I really like this game. The people that are creating this game, amazing. They are pushing the updates so fast. They had problems in the very beginning on day one. In 10 days, they had all that resolved. A few days after, they're releasing new features and I'm really loving it. The idea and the roadmap of this is seems very aggressive and I'm excited for this game to continue to evolve. And you can tell it's doing good because on Atomic Hub, it's it's moving up the charts. I think it's like seven. Let's go ahead and take a look. And here's real quick, if you're curious what I've invested, this is what I've invested so far altogether on all my projects and I sold some too. So let's go ahead and go ahead and mark it here. And we will give you an idea. So one, two, five, six, seven. So it's seventh. And the robots are going for a good amount, especially the miners, the gold miners. I bought one a while ago and I paid 158 and 215, which this one's a new one because I think it was 220 earlier. More are coming out, thank goodness. There are a lot of packs still left for this game, so if you're interested in it, i definitely get into it. I'll go ahead and put a link at the top of the screen if you want a full guide on how to play, but there is a lot to it. You could join Mission, and just to give you an idea, I'm 18th. What's up? <laughs> uh, you have your attackers, and I got my team here. I got the Robo Doggy, <laughs> and then Miners, and you have your Miners. And this is the one that I said I purchased for 158 and I'm happy about because the gold miners are it. They're amazing. I want more, but just a little too much for me right now. <laughs> Got two buildings, two silver. So we have 20 on our team. We actually have two common soldiers. So if we do get another barracks or building in the near future, we can go ahead and expand even more. Maybe get another pack or two to kind of even it out. Or... What I would like to do is purchase one of these bad boys. So yeah, boom, 106, that's not bad. They were 130 before. The thing is, Asra, no one wants to fight. And because no one wants to fight, they pull these gold warriors and they want to get rid of it. This is going to change. Once they introduce more things with the game, this mission score, you're going to be able to use this to buy traits like a talent tree in video games and i'm going to be able to boost my miners i'm going to be able to boost all this stuff because i have that mission score once people see that they're going to go crazy over it they also introduced something just this week where you can go into the market and you can buy a silver crate or a premier crate the premier box is the one there's 126 left and you have a chance for a common barracks i don't think this one's that great but it probably will sell out after the gold sells out. If you're close, I would try to wait for a gold and you could also check the extra market and do it that way. These pieces that are in here do drop when you're fighting, but it's rare. I got one and some people got none. Some people got a whole lot. That's it. That's Krypton Quest. Really good game. I really recommend it. Of course, not financial advice. This is just my thoughts as a gamer, not as a financial advisor. Also, I do have a Discord if you are interested in joining and we can talk more about it. 
and I'll put it on the screen and down below. Please join. I do want to do some giveaways. So once we get a good amount of people in there and yeah, we'll start doing some giveaways. Speaking of giving away, NFT Panda is my next game that I want to talk about. NFT Panda, I did a video on it. You can get in on this game for just one panda. Basically, you put them in the slot, you send them on adventures, and they bring coin back for you. Easy as that. I'm going to be giving 50 heroes away, 50 pandas away for anyone who uses my link down below. I've had 19 people, so there are 31 pandas that I will give away. I'm basically saying... You sign up under my link for this game. I will give you your starting panda and then you can just reinvest that and build up your pandas or make money off of it. Your choice. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that for the first 50 people. So this game is pretty cool. It's like a RPG type. So you have your panda and you send them on adventures. You craft weapons and they eat food. This is their food meter and the weapons can break. You need to repair them. You can also rank up the panda as you're going through and sending them on an adventure. They earn one experience every once in a while. They rank up and when it's time to rank up, you can stake a little extra of the BAM token, which is for bamboo. And then you can go ahead and boost their rank, which means they will make more money. It just increases their return. Really neat there. Um, not on the leaderboards, so just getting started. And you can rent your pandas in the near future. And then they have the shop you can go into and you can purchase these weapon blueprints and then craft them all with the in-game token, BAM. And then if you've crafted it, you can equip your panda with it for a return, depending on the quality of the weapon, the more you get back. And, or you could go ahead and take it to the secondary market and sell it as an NFT. There's a lot of good things on this. They do need to eat, as I mentioned. And it looks like we'll be getting potions in the near future, but they're not out yet. And then you have your inventory, which for me is just food. <laughs> and then your crafting station. This is how you would go through and craft. There's different weapons and there's different elements. And you can also upgrade them. So it looks like a lot of my pandas are ready to send on adventure. So we'll go ahead and do it. I usually do my rares first. So we're going to do this here. Oh, weapon's broken. All right, well, we can fix that. Click on the weapon. And we'll repair it. So it costs one BAM to repair. However, it gets 0.25 BAM 20 times. So you're making five BAM, but you're spending one for the repair every time. All right, big money, big money. <laughs> All right, zero just means there's no modifier. It just even. So I get almost one bam for that one. And then we'll go ahead and send this one. Another zero. That's fine. And we'll do this guy. Plus 25. These two are almost ready to level up. You can see they're at 30 out of 34. 100% bonus. Not bad. He's an uncommon. And then this guy is just a common. So he's our low man on the totem pole right now. And we got hit with a minus 25, so. That is NFT Panda. Like I said, use my link down below and the first 50 people, I will send a panda from me. Uh, give it at least a day, though I am usually pretty on top of it. Also do have a full tutorial on this game as well. I'll put it at the top as well. A lot of these games I have more tutorials on, so I'll kind of explain them as I go. The next one you may have heard of, Farmer's World. This has been big lately, and it was really big. It crashed, and now it's been recovering, and I play this. So now I need to go ahead and grab my resource, because basically you're just farming wood. I can go ahead and hit mine, and we'll see what we get. This is a stone axe. It's the better one of what I have. I have a membership, which gives me an extra 10% chance of getting a bonus and it also allows me to have an, an extra tool so that's one tool and then we have the ancient axes which is the way i got into the game because the ancient axes were so cheap and i built up to buy a stone axe i actually built up enough to buy another stone axe but the prices are pumping right now boom this is a second account 
doing two accounts. Yeah, you know why? Because they allow it. So <laughs> I have two accounts. It's the only game that I have two accounts on, but they allow it. So yeah, awesome. So I'm collecting here. And this account is just for this game. That's it. And now I can wait two hours and then there'll be a one here. And then I go wait another two hours and then there'll be a two. So I can claim it when there's one or two. So because I have the members benefit, it will go ahead and give me an extra one. So if I don't get there after two hours, I'll start counting another two hours. There's another game coming out like this. It's called War Space. I'm trying to get into, but it's really hard to get a hold of anything right now. It's very, very popular. So we'll see about that. Next two games are going to be ones that I think are really going to pop in the near future. Wrath of Tezka. And yes, I also have a tutorial on this of how to play. Basically, you could kind of think of it like a World of Warcraft kind of game. You go on missions and you can equip them. Unfortunately, I've already done this today because I wasn't planning on doing a video. So I can't show you the exact thing, but basically you equip them, the barracks, and we can show you. So you have these orcs and you can go ahead and equip them and they go on missions and they return coin and crafting materials for you and each time a mission goes they will go ahead and get more coin and material show you three lands you choose which one you want you can only pick one crafting material and they'll be common legendary rare you know you choose which one you want take your team and focus on the one that you are built up on. So example, if a land has 100 strength and another one has 50 strength and your team has the highest in strength, you would go after the 100. So this game is pretty awesome. Right now it's instant missions, so you just send them. 3D modeling is coming where it's going to be turn-based strategy in the near future. The crafting system is coming very soon, which was just announced. So here's this information I'm just going to put on the screen. So the crafting, you need 500 heartwood, 300 bone shards, and 200 magic essences, plus some Tez coin to go ahead and do the crafts. And you can craft weapons, armor. It's all random. You could craft warriors, or you could even craft land, supposedly. There might be a few in there that will hit land randomly. Also, they are going to be doing a land sale. The people with the most... Tez coin as of the 26th in January, the top 100 will be able to purchase a land and the prices will be about $500 to give you an idea. I am 99th, <laughs> so I'm holding on, but I don't know. It's, it's not looking good. <laughs> Great game. I recommend it. Again, full tutorial on my channel. Next, go to Nova Rally. Nova Rally is this game that I have been playing for a while and I really like it and I don't know I think it's good as it is but they are going to be expanding it even more. I've invested into this game a good amount not really into the drivers and the cars but more into the other things. I've bought a cassette tape which gives you boost which allows you to use turbo boost in your races and I've purchased a piece of track for the land basically there's gonna be 800 pieces of land so i have one of those one of the few games i only have land in two games so it's one of the few games i actually have land in and i also purchased some driver licenses so i can rent out my cars to other people so i race my cars daily and i build them up and i currently have one intermediate and this is my intermediate team and it'll switch to intermediate. So there's rookie, intermediate, veteran, and master. And then you can use a boost, and then you can send them. As you do 10 races, everything starts going up 20%. I could keep doing more, but I'm gonna be paying 20%. And then after 24 hours, it resets. And how you get these fuels up there is you just have to have something in that league. And when I do that, it will update with everything I need here. I'll get more oil, more gas, and more boost. Next, let's go over to Office Land. And let me say all the games here are Wax Network so far, though I am going to mention two at the end that are not. So Office World is one that I said to be very weary about, and I've even went through and sold all my cards. I'm being attacked by the sun. 
there's just a little crack in the blinds. <laughs> Basically, you have these and you send them to do chores and then they come back with coins. Now, I started out and they were going to sell all these packs like a crazy amount. It scared me away. I sold all my cards at a good amount and then the game crashed. And when it crashed, I bought them back at a fraction. So I sold them for like three dollars, three fifty each. And then I bought them back at like 40 cents a card because I was like, you know, for 40 cents, I'll try it. And they are now back around three, three fifty. So basically, you just need one person to start and then you send them off and they get O coin. And then you can take that O coin and do a lot of different things. It's a very basic game, but it's still fun. You have a bank where you can go ahead and invest. I did stake in the beginning before everything happened. So I do have um, some coin in here that I'll be able to withdraw on the 31st. And then I'll see what I want to do with it if I want to go ahead and, you know, with draw it or if I want to build more. I'll kind of take a closer look at the game then. I did this to get a white listed on the packs. And then when I saw how many packs they were, I got scared and I ran away. If they wouldn't have put that many packs out, I wouldn't have got scared and ran away. They ended up not selling that many and cutting it off. And I'm like, well, if I would have known they were going to do that. It's just the communication. They communicate a lot in their Discord, but I don't think they always communicate properly with everything that makes sense they really want to throw a lot of cards out but they got some new features coming and yeah i'm just gonna send them and once in a while if i find one that's cheap on atomic hub i'll buy it for the next spot if you look the spots is a hundred o coin and you know you just keep going up right now in january the bottom two rows are really cheap and then after that, it's going to go back to normal. But to open these, you have to open everything else up. So for now, I'm just kind of coasting along. It's a little too much and it's Friday and the weekends. It seems like a lot of these prices jump up for all games. So for now, I'm just going to kind of, you know, keep doing what I'm doing and just let it expand as it expands. I'll take some profit here and there. It's a small, small investment. Blockchain RPG, I probably put like $20, $25 into this game and I bought this stuff here. I bought a Milo card, which lets you get, I believe it's two extra, two or three extra times a day, two extra times. So I get two heals, so I get seven heals all day. And then I send them on missions and I have this weapon, which is to attack. I have this shirt, which is one armor. I need the helmet, but I don't have that. And I have a rock, which is 35 health. And then I do have uh, another rock, which I just found. I'm trying to sell because most of this stuff in this game, I just sell right away, including the coin. And then I'll sell this and this. And I'll hold on to this because ironwood's very hard to get. And that's what you need to craft. So if I start getting enough, I can go ahead and craft one of these cool weapons. But, you know, you see this is like nine and this is 10. So that's a lot. It's a really cheap game and you don't need to do a lot. You know, you go here, you choose the starter land or the forest. I'll go ahead and choose the forest and go ahead and hit hunt. And it just takes a moment. And then the forest, you need to have built up. You need to have armor and stuff. So there we go. I killed something for 77 damage and then I got this gold. So now I continue. I wait five minutes and then I can go again. So the this usually hits for like 70 to 85 and this usually hits like 15 to 25 for me, but I'm built up a bit. If I get the helmet, I think it'll really add a little extra on and give me probably another attack every every time I attack. But I don't want to spend more on this game because the game is going down a bit and it's still beta. So once they do an update, I think it will shoot back up. And it may not look like a lot of gold, but one gold is worth a whole lot of money. So I probably have, I think, two wax right now. The next game is Alien Worlds. I have a full video on this and how to do it. Basically, all you do is you join the game. It's a free game. You don't need anything to get started. They give you a shovel and you you can update like I upgraded to really good ones. And then you hit mine. You hit claim mine and then approve you have to hit approve every time because they try to keep the bots away and then i got some trillium 
Now it might not look like I have a lot of Trillium, and that's because I just withdrew all of mine. <laughs> There's also missions, and I did have some on missions. However, they uh, accidentally banned me yesterday, and it kind of scared me. So I pulled all my uh, Trillium off of missions, and I actually withdrew everything just in case. They're dealing with lots of bots, so they're being very careful. But for me, you know, I don't want to leave too much on here because, you know, I, I don't want to have like, several hundred dollars and get banned and get stuck with it over on, you know, a different wallet. I'm sure I could probably move it around and get it out of the Binance Smart Chain, but I'd just rather take it off and I'll just run it like this. So basically every 10 minutes I click that button and I get Trillium and that's it. You start with one tool, you get a shovel for free, and you can get more tools. If you look at my inventory, I have a lot of stuff. These things were are so cheap that I just, well, the uh, aliens and stuff, I just bought three of everything because that feature's not out yet, and when that feature is out, I'm sure it'll go up. Shovels you can get for a few cents on the auction house on Atomic Hub, and I also have three standard drills for when NFT mining comes back. If you'd like to click and earn that way and just stay on top of stuff, you can do it this way. I probably make, with my upgraded stuff, which cost me probably $180, I probably make $1.50 a day, which, you know, takes a while to get your ROI back. But I figured I could also sell these as well. And I'm always on the computer, so I just do it. And if anything would happen where I get banned, I could still sell these or just send them to another account. But I don't bot and I wouldn't bot. Don't do that because they will catch you for sure because you know they're even catching people that aren't botting. <laughs> so it's Evolution Land. This is on the Hiko network. However, there's going to be multiple networks, but we're trying on the Hiko network. You get Aeropostles. <laughs> I believe that's how you say it. And let's go to my Apostle. And you get them and you can do a bunch of things with them. You can change their careers. You can breed them, um, sell them, recruit them, and you can kind of get an idea here. This is the generation, generation 16, 13, 1, and 3, and it gives you an idea of like their mining power, their attack, their crit, so you can send them on adventures too. And the adventures is pretty neat. So I'll show you this just to give you an idea. So right now I have them in AFK rewards, so they earn this much each hour. I can go ahead and claim this and it'll go ahead and pop up here and you get a cool alert. I love the alerts and the overall look of this game. Now I wanna go ahead and choose Stop Adventure. And then I wanna go ahead and it's cost 20 AFK coins or co to go ahead and go in the adventure. So you go ahead and choose Enter. And let's go ahead and start. Okay, you get a buff each stage to choose. So do I want my HP limit minus 10 and get a legendary card? I haven't tried that one yet. I think we're going to do the plus 100 defense because these are usually ongoing from my understanding. I'm still new at this, but I believe so. And that is big for boss battles. So there's no sound yet, but I believe they're working on it. I gave them some recommendations for it. So now we cleared it. So now we get this trophy. If you escape, you leave and you don't get the reward. So you basically just keep going until you die. So we don't need to recover HP. So let's go for crit rate by four. Plus that's a purple. That's really nice. And we're going to go ahead and battle here. There's a nice vampire one too that you get like some life back when you're damaged or you damage others. I forget exactly which one it is. But I love this so far. This game's going to be very in-depth. Let's go plus 20 attack, because if we're hitting like crazy, we should just fly right through everything. And then you don't need as much defense. Plus, we have that 100 defense for the bosses, and that's very important. I'll have a link down below if you do want to check out this game. I'll have more on it, too, in the future. I'm still kind of getting used to it. But this is uh, what I've found so far. 10% of damage converted to HP. This is the one I like. Um, ignore 50% of monsters defense. Ooh, that's pretty good. Berserker crit hit damage raise. Oh, man. I got to go with the HP because we're getting a little low and bosses are going to eat us up. And we're on, I think this is a boss now. 
So we're going to go. And you can always skip this and just kind of do it the quick way. I like watching the animations. I think it's pretty neat. It reminds me of that old school Final Fantasy view if if you're from that era. <laughs> and look, my HP is like almost back all the way up. Nice. We're going to go until we lose. <laughs> we don't need that. HP limit plus five. Defense plus five. Uh, we'll go with HP because I feel like the HP is important. And we have that vampire thing now too, so we can top it off. So out of all the games that I've showed you so far, I'm going to show you one more after this. Let me know down below which one you think looks the best and which one you're playing. So basically, the three that I really like right now, Krypton Quest, NF. Panda and Farmer's World at the moment. And the ones that I think are going to take off is Wrath of Tezka and Nova Rally. Element level plus one, recover 10% HP. That would top us off. Let's go ahead and top off because they're going to start hitting pretty hard. And if you get too low in HP, it's just, it gets rough. I wonder if that does it every round or if it just does it once. I need to keep practicing and kind of like pay attention and get the full details on it so you can go pretty far on this and don't forget you can go ahead and take these apostles and turn them into professions like a defensive character or a swordsman and then you can craft weapons and armor you also can craft drills to drill into the earth to mine resources and there's a few different elements you can go ahead and get and you can use that to make the weapons or armor as you want it's, it's so involved this game has got a lot to it if you're looking for a game that has a lot to it this is going to be one of them or the next one i'm going to mention i'm going to go ahead and speed this part up for you uh do we go with vampire i wonder if that stacks let's do the rebound you know i don't think i beat this guy yet i think this is as far as i've got oh yeah that's that's pretty powerful because you rebound and then you have vampire to go ahead and get hp back Ooh, that's a good combo. I didn't even think about that. Nice. We might have a chance of beating this one. He started at 320, and we're ahead already. Ooh, that was a good hit. Oh, one HP. Oh, there we go. Did we beat the whole thing? That was 3-1. Let's ignore their defense. We should be able to hit harder and get them down quicker. Because we have that rebound too, so that should probably stack as well. So we're almost we've almost beat level three, which is the high one. I don't know though. I, I don't think it looks good right now. I think we're in trouble. Ooh, it's so close. I bet you the next guy's like insane. So close. We got an HP heal. If we beat this and we get an HP heal, we have a chance. No crit, no crit. Right now, yes, we need HP. No HP. Oh no, I guess defense. Crit. We're gonna need some crazy crits, so we're gonna do crit. Yeah, this is the last guy, I think. But we're done. We're done, so GG. <laughs> uh, we did pretty good, though. We did pretty good. So we got 16 of these, three of these, and three of those. And so now I'm done. So all I do is hit start adventure for AFK rewards. So it stakes it. And now I start getting more COO coin. And I can play again later. It's 40 now because it goes up if you keep playing often. So you kind of want to play, take a break, play, take a break. And this is the last game that I'm going to talk about. This is the one I've invested the most. It's called Farsight. You've probably seen other videos on my channel. It is under Ethereum at the moment. I believe it's going to be under Polygon as well. And we'll see what else. <laughs> Things are kind of slow right now. I haven't heard much since December. So we're hoping for some big updates in the near future. We do have planets and I have three pieces. And I have the grand sector right here, which is the one. And this is Earth. So I have earth and I can mine water and lumber. The only planet that can do that. And I can go into my mining facility and you can see it's currently working. And hopefully my other one is as well. <laughs> yes, it is. So that one's going too. And so I have two mining facilities here and I can do one more because this is a large sector. So I will put a factory probably here. 
So we can go ahead and purify those. And then finally, I have two small sectors. I may sell one when the game comes out, but they are next to each other. So that makes it very good because you can use them kind of as a medium. And this one has a mining as well. So I'm mining here. So I have three mining locations. And then this one's just empty because if I do anything, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Like I said, I may even sell those two and just keep the big one. I'm going to see how it is. I do have a lot of money invested in this game, so I do want to get my investment back as quickly as I can because I have so much. But I still want to be able to play the game. So if you like EVE Online, this is probably similar to that. You have all the planets. You can dock with the station. And then here you have different ships. This is the best ship that I have right now. I had to destroy a bunch of them so I can get credits. The coolest thing is all their NFTs have the credits inside of them. So you can blow up the NFT and get some credits inside of it. So I have this gyro trip chip here. If I wanted, it's worth 15,000 credits base. So I could go in and burn this and then just get those credits in the game. The ideas of this game is so good. They're doing such a good job. And I got some crazy blueprints. I got three ships and an afterburner blueprint. So as new people come in, I'll have those. I have a bunch of parts. I put a lot of money into this game. And that's where I'm at right now. There are still stuff for sale. You got these two that are for sale right now. Uh, this one will be ending soon with phase four. And this one's got a lot left as well. But the other two sold out like right away. So if you're interested, I do have a link for this as well. It helps me out with my recruits. I got 152 of them. And you will go ahead and get a free ship by using the link. So that is everything about all the games I'm currently playing. I know it's a lot. I was playing Beast Garden. I decided to exit that. I opened a pack and got lucky. The game's good. I just don't think it's for me. And... I figured it out, but I'd just rather put that somewhere else. So I've decided to exit that game. So all my stuff is for sale for that game. And that'll help because one of the cards is like $150. And then I can invest in one of the games that I'm really pushing towards. So that is all the games. What games are you playing? If you've made it this far, you are a champion. Make sure you comment champion and come to the Discord. Join us. Let's talk games. If you have any questions, I will be on there all the time. And yeah, thanks so much for joining and I will see you in the next one.